Good evening, sports fans. Up in Columbia, the head ball coach has named a starting quarterback. Steve Spurrier announcing sophomore Connor Mitch will start under center for the South Carolina Gamecocks when they open the season next Thursday against North Carolina. Mitch played in just two games last season as a redshirt freshman. Another preseason honor rolling in for Georgia running back Nick Chubb. The sophomore running back named first team preseason all SEC by league coaches. As a true freshman, Chubb rushed for just over 1,500 yards and 14 touchdowns. Those numbers even more impressive when you consider he started just eight games for the Bulldogs in 2014. I know the spotlight's on me, you know, um, everyone's looking to see how I'm going to do. Big expectations for me, but for me, I'm just a big team event, you know, just everyone playing hard for Georgia. I think it's most important that we focus on Georgia as a team, not just anybody else. In addition to Chubb being named to the first team, the Bulldogs also had offensive lineman John Theus, linebacker Jordan Jenkins, and kicker Marshall Morgan named to the preseason first team. South Carolina's Pharaoh Cooper, the lone Gamecock named to the first team. Cooper named first team at wide receiver and return specialist. Georgia Southern offensive lineman Darren Foreman has been named to the 2015 Lombardi Award watch list. The senior guard is a first team preseason all Sun Belt Conference selection. He's the only returning starter back along the offensive line for the Eagles heading into the 2015 campaign. To the hardwood where the Savannah State women's basketball program got some good news Tuesday afternoon. The Lady Tigers are once again eligible for postseason competition after winning an appeal with the NCAA. Back in May, the NCAA notified Savannah State that the women's basketball team scored below the mandated academic progress report score for all NCAA institutions. Savannah State appealed the penalty and the scores were recalculated and the Tigers did in fact surpass the APR benchmark. The Tigers claimed the Mid-East Athletic Conference Tournament title last season and advanced to the NCAA Tournament where they fell to South Carolina. Busy time of the year in the prep sports world. Got football, cross country, volleyball, and softball now in full swing. As always, Tuesdays, busy out on the field for Southeast Georgia softball squads. In Springfield, Effingham hosting Statesboro Blue Devils. Going to gun down the Rebels, trying to steal second here in the bottom of the first inning. However, in the second, Statesboro with no answers of silence in the Effingham bats. Couple on for Haley Dickerson. She's going to drive in two with the single to center. It was two nothing Rebels. Then Shelby Wilson comes to the plate. She's going to put a charge into one. This one to deep center. It's going to stay in the ballpark just over the center fielder's head. The run scoring double going to make it three nothing. Still more from the home team. Caitlin Kelly. She's going to stroke the RBI single to left. In comes the fourth run of the inning. It was four nothing. Moments later, Haley Arnsdorf. She's going to get into the hit parade. She's going to deliver the run scoring single to left. Effingham going to go on to blank Statesboro in this one. Eight nothing. The final Southeast Bullock in town to take on Johnson Jackets wasted no time already two nothing in the first when Emily Barnard going to line the RBI single up the middle SCB going to go on top. It was three to nothing. Johnson looking to slow down the Jackets offensive attack. That's going to help shortstop Alexis Pierce with a tough catch in shallow left field. But the Southeast Bullock bats way too hot Tuesday. Morgan Joyner sending one down the line to left. This one getting down the RBI double extends a jacket lead. Still in the second, more from the visitors. Mary Grace Manahan going to rope the run scoring single to left. In comes Joyner. The ladies from Brooklyn, they don't let up. Briley Ritchie going to then drop one into shallow left. That plates another run. All Southeast Bullock in this one. Yellow Jackets looking strong to open the season. It was raining runs as St. Vincent's Battle Groves out at the Paulson Softball Complex. Lily and Daniel going to get the party started for the Saints, ripping the single to center. That plates two, two nothing St. Vincent's. Moments later, Raquel Rondo going to go opposite field with it. This one going to be trouble getting down, rolling just a bit. Rocky, she's going to leg out the in the park home run. Saints extend their lead, but St. Vincent's just getting started. Amber Reagan, she's going to slap the single pass short. In comes another run. It was six nothing at that point. That is Daniel with her second hit of the inning. Again, a single to center. And again, going to play to run. This one all St. Vincent's 19-4, the final. In Pembroke, Bryan County hosting McIntosh County Academy. Redskin pitcher Shelby Barfield had things on lockdown. She comes up with the inning-ending strikeout in the top of the second. Bottom half, the Bryan County bats get to work. Starts with another Barfield, Brooke. She's got the infield hit that plates a run, putting the Redskins on top. In the third, Brooke Barfield at it again for the home team. She smacks the RBI single to left. It was 3-0 at that point. Still more from Bryan County. Leighton Harrell, she comes up to the plate. She's going to 
have the base knock up the middle. That's in the center for a run scoring single. Bryan County goes on to pick up the 8-0 win over McIntosh County Academy. In other high school softball action, South Effingham tops Wayne County 8-4, and Vidalia takes care of Long County 7-2 the final in that one. And that's a look at sports. Stick around.